the lights go off in the Kabul mosque. Everyone has gone home except this young woman. She's hiding from her family who are forcing her to marry a relative. A sympathetic caretaker buys her a burqa to help her escape. Rasai's story of forced marriage is the highlight of new movie called Kabul I Love You. I tried on a burqa once. I wanted to know how women felt about it and how difficult it could be to wear a burqa. The problem is why some women are forced to wear a burqa. They're forced either by their family, a brother, father, husband or society. It's a project funded by the UN mission in Afghanistan in an attempt to boost the country's cinema industry. Similar to recent hits, Paris I Love You and New York I Love You, the Afghan version is made up of 10 short films about life in Kabul. The idea was, okay, we want to reach the filmmakers and we want to support them as communicators to communicate with Afghan people, but not with our uh, messages. That was uh, clear from the beginning. So these communicators has their own messages. Afghanistan produces 100 films a year, but most of them are short on tiny budgets. The couple I Love You project received 200 applications from prospective contributors and helped 10 directors achieve their dreams. My goal is not to work in Hollywood. I want to make the film that I want, but in our society it's a little complicated. Under the Taliban's extremist former, Afghanistan's film industry was completely snuffed out. But with a helping hand from the international community, it could have the chance to grow and give even more directors the chance to express their love for the country.